T H A Y N E. Yes. All right. Um, and you're one of five Democratic candidates for the uh, two uh, possible slots on Boone County Family Court. That's correct. All right, so Tim, um, actually first let me ask if I was to say Tim Thane of Binghamton, Jay-Z, and a guy, what, what town do you live in? I live in the city of Binghamton. I grew up on the south side of Binghamton, up by Ross Park. Um, I've lived here most all my life, except when I went to the Marine Corps. Um, came back to Boone County after the Marine Corps and decided to grow my family here, you know, because it was a good, it's a good place to raise kids and have a good family. Did you, from a bio standpoint, did you get right into law or did you have any other career before you got into the law? No, I actually, when I came back from uh, the Marine Corps, I worked at a local construction company, um, worked as a laborer, going out of town doing underground containment for gas stations, and then I transitioned in and started going to college. Um, and as I went to college, I realized I was doing pretty well at it, which was kind of a surprise to me, so I kept going. And I realized that I did enjoy the law, and I enjoyed learning about the law, and I came back here to be a, an attorney in my hometown. All right, so now let's talk about your legal career. Take me through, um, where did you go to law school? When did you pass the bar? And what different jobs have you had? I went to Albany Law School between the years of 2000. I graduated in 2003. I passed the bar exam in 2004, and I immediately started working at Coffin and Gerhardt. Uh, just right out of law school and passing the bar. Worked there in a few, for a few years in the labor and employment department, the litigation department, the workers' comp department. And then I moved on to the DA's office where I worked for four or five years and then moved on to private practice, family court attorney, law guardian, and went back to the public defender's office. And now I'm currently a senior prosecutor in the Green County DA's office. So tell me about how those various legal experiences have prepared you for being a judge? Glad you asked that question. Handling all types of cases, or thousands of cases in Broome County over my 16 year career from opposing viewpoints has given me a balanced approach to how I handle every case I hear now, or I present now. Um, it gives me a great way to evaluate cases, interact with people from both sides, whether I'm prosecuting a case, defending a case, representing a family, being a voice for a child and family court. All, those, all of those different experiences help build you and give you a broad, balanced experience that will lead you to a bench, a, a solid, fair-minded path on, on the bench. Let's talk more specifically about your time as a family court attorney. How, how many years did you spend in that practice and what did you learn from that experience? I spent approximately four years pretty much focusing on family court and matrimonial law and as a law guardian. I was in family court in Broome County most couple times a week for that, for that period of time. I handled hundreds of cases. Um, and I handled cases that were very difficult. Uh, neglect petitions, I handled termination of parental rights petitions. They're very difficult cases to present, defend, listen to, decide. You need to have a modicum of experience where you've been in there and seen what it does to families and how the families move through that process. So I also, on the opposite side of that, was able to be a law guardian, an attorney for the child, which you have to train for and become a law guardian. And when you're in there, you give, you give kids a voice and you, you know, tell parents, look, at these kids are not bargaining chips, and you make sure they're protected and safe, and that's your only job in there. It was one of my favorites. And then there's a typical visitation, custody petition, support petitions where you're representing mothers and fathers. And every, every second a mother or father is divided from their children seems endless to them. And you have to understand it. You have to be standing with them in family court to understand what they're going through. Personally, I went through family court. Um, I'm divorced, I have two great kids who live in a stable household now, and always have, quite frankly. However, we had to work some things out. And when you're in there, every question feels like an accusation. Your whole life is on display. There's no higher stakes in the family court, none whatsoever. Let's talk a little bit about your personality, your skill set. What is it about you personally that you think you'd be a good judge? I have a fair temperament, a very, I have a good heart, fair temperament. I'm a good neighbor, a good person. They're the qualities that are most important to me. I'm honest, I'm hardworking, 
when you have those type of values, they come through the bench. You know? And I have all those. So it's just an even keel, fair temperament. Like I said, I've handled both sides of cases. And you have to be able to stay balanced and fair as you're on the bench and moving through your practice. My personality, I don't get overexcited. I don't get, you know, I don't get mad at people. I typically just handle the situation in front of me and try to help whoever I can. And that's how I've, that's how I've practiced my whole career here in Brooklyn County. So why do you think family court is important? Family court is critically important, now more than ever. Almost 45% of our families, every other household, are going through family court or separations. And they need to be dealt with. You know, the, the, every case in family court is an opportunity to begin the healing process and protect children. And if you can do that in a balanced approach, efficiently, you can ease tensions in the household and build back a stronger community. And I think that's critically important now more than ever. Um, so anytime I'm interviewing a candidate for any position, I always kind of like to wrap up with a question that probably we've already touched on and you may end up repeating yourself a little bit here and that's fine, but ultimately, why should people vote for you? People should vote for me because I have a fair and balanced experience. Of the five Democratic candidates running, two of them cannot complete their term. Pete Charnetsky and Sandy Monachino will be 70 during this 10-year term, and they would be, they can't finish. Of the remaining three candidates, myself included, I'm the only one that's represented a, a family in family court. I'm the only one that was a law guardian. I've handled hundreds of cases. I have that balanced experience, and I've been through it. The personal, professional experience that I have is unmatched in this democratic race. Aside from that, like I said, I'm honest, hardworking, a lifelong resident of Broome County, and a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. All right, is there anything else you'd like to add that I didn't think to ask? 